Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Deep Cats Reactions and my name's Greg and I'm going to play another real political song here. <laughs> and I, again, this is one that I played, but it was like a year ago and God, I, I went back and started to listen to it a little bit. And, you know, not that my recording and my equipment is, you know, <laughs> very good at all. As you can see, I record here and my kitchen you know so uh yeah it's pretty lame but it was really bad back then so like i say i want to hear the song so i'll just go ahead and play it but this is uh gil scott heron the revolution will not be televised and this was a very important song uh politically and socially it just blew a lot of people away and a lot of the a lot of the references that he's making you won't get unless you lived through it because it's uh you know a lot of them are pretty dated at this point but the uh the general <laughs> the general gist of the song gets through just fine so here we go gil scott heron the revolution will not be televised <laughs> be able to stay home brother you will not be able to plug in turn on and cop out you will not be able to lose yourself on skag and skip out for beer during commercials because the revolution will not be televised the revolution will not be televised the revolution will not be brought to you by xerox in four parts without commercial interruptions the revolution will not show you pictures of Nixon blowing a bugle and leading a charge by John Mitchell, General Abrams, and Spiro Agnew to eat hog moths confiscated from a Harlem sanctuary. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be brought to you by the shape of a war theater and will not star Natalie Woods and Steve McQueen or Bullwinkle and Julia. The revolution will not give your mouth sex appeal. The revolution will not get rid of the nubs. The revolution will not make you look five pounds thinner because the revolution will not be televised, brother. There will be no pictures of you and Willie Mae pushing that shopping cart down the block on the dead run or trying to slide that color TV into a stolen ambulance. NBC will not be able to predict the winner at 8.32 on report from 29 districts. The revolution will not be televised. There will be no pictures of pigs shooting down brothers on the instant replay. There will be no pictures of pigs shooting down brothers on the instant replay. There will be no pictures of Whitney Young being run out of Harlem on a rail with a brand new process. There will be no slow motion or still lights of Roy Wilkins strolling through Watts in a red, black, and green liberation jumpsuit that he has been saving for just the proper occasion. Green Acres, Beverly Hillbillies, and Hooterville Junction will no longer be so damn relevant, and women will not care if Dick finally got down with Jane on Search for Tomorrow, because black people will be in the street looking for a brighter day. The revolution will not be televised. There will be no highlights on the 11 o'clock news and no pictures of Harry R. Women Liberationist and Jackie Onassis blowing her nose. The theme song will not be written by Jim Webb or Francis Scott Keyes, nor sung by Glenn Campbell, Tom Jones, Johnny Cash, Engelbert Humperdinck, or The Rare Earth. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be right back after a message about a white tornado, white lightning, or white people. You will not have to worry about a dove in your bedroom, the tiger in your tank, or the giant in your toilet bowl. The revolution will not go better with coke. The revolution will not fight germs that may cause bad breath. The revolution will put you in the driver's seat. The revolution will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be live. Boy, that is just as relevant today as it was back then. Uh, you know, that that was really, really threatening to a lot of people. Man, they heard that and it's like, holy shit. And and it's funny because, because besides, the, besides the lyrics and the whole, you know, uh, you know, push of that, the music was killer. And he was, you know, he was a jazz musician. That's what he you know, wanted to be remembered for, not this song, but, you know, that's the way it is. I mean, this song was so important 
politically and sociologically at the time. And uh, like I say, you know, maybe maybe a lot of people miss some of the references, but you can kind of f infer what he's talking about just from the context. But uh, yeah, that was great and still relevant today, unfortunately. So anyway, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm about to uh, climb up on my little uh, political soapbox there and so I won't. <laughs> I just won't. So we'll leave it at that. Anyway, uh, I'll be back later, I guess. I think I'm doing another one. I can't re I can't remember. <laughs> this is so this whole channel is really half assed if you've never tuned in before. <laughs> But that's the, that's the way I like it. So uh, hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and all that good stuff. And we will see you all later. Bye-bye.